Hi friends. Well today I take Lynn for a short Jeep ride up into the mountains from Chloride to see the murals painted on the rocks. And then when we come back I'm going to take you on a tour of a property in Chloride, Arizona. I do not know how to describe this. I didn't know what to put in the thumbnail. We found a sock monkey among other things, but that does not even begin to describe what you're going to see in this property. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. I'm taking Lynn on this dirt road, which is about as much off-roading as I can ever talk her into. We're going up to see the murals in chloride painted by Roy Purcell. Of course, this road is no challenge for me and my Jeep, but uh, Lynn doesn't like getting jostled around, so I'm kind of taking it real slow and easy. It's about uh, two miles, and some of the locals told me that during the monsoons, this road was washed out and that you'd need a Jeep to get up here. Um... Well, I don't know. I think a car could get past this, but it's always worse than it looks in the video when I'm watching my dash cam. There's the city of Chloride way down there. We're up at the murals. Did I say city? <laughs> Great rock formations up here. Do you 360? If I don't fall off of the one I'm standing on. When you're traveling, do you get this feeling like I do? You always want to know what's just over the hill or what's just around the next curve. I don't know. It's what keeps me going. Always uh, that curiosity about what are we going to see next. This is the parking area for the murals. And that uh, rocky road right ahead there, I went up that two years ago and right around the next corner, you really do need a Jeep. I'm thinking that it's the wrong time of the day again, but in reconsidering that, I think the artist probably painted on the shadowy side of the rocks because this is Arizona. He didn't want to have his back to the hot sun while he was painting, maybe. Because when I was up here a couple of years ago, it was the wrong time of the day, but as I'm looking at where the sun goes, it's probably pretty much always the wrong time of the day. Beautiful, a guy spent a lot of time painting these. The Journey, Images from an Inward Search for Self. Roy Purcell. There's one way up there in the sky. Yeah, I guess you can pause this and try to figure out the symbolism. I'm not going to interpret it for you. Although I'm going to call that part a snake wrapped around the rocks. Hmm. Uh, that's a deer. Best I can do. Oh, that's the city of Chloride in its mining days. Well, there's a few more rocks he could paint. Well, fine art in the desert. 
Never know what you're going to find in Chloride, Arizona, or nearby. Well, I'm going to come back here, check, and see if Lynn is rested up enough to get back on the trail going back down. Lynn went four-wheeling today. What did you think about that, huh? <laughs> I'm glad I'm getting it done out of the way. <laughs> okay, so... They stopped me to ask how much farther they had to go, and they're almost there, so good news for them. Nice variety of cactus here. Choya, prickly pear. like the way the sun hits the choya when it's backlit. I've noticed around here that there's what we call hoodoos. Hoodoos, the term comes from Zion National Park, and it's nature stacked up rocks, but now people stack up rocks. So they use them to mark the way on trails like this, and people just stack them up for fun. But I'm going to stop along here and take a look at some of the hoodoos. All along the road to the murals, people have made hoodoos. I was curious about how the name Chloride came to be for this town. That white stuff you see on the right there, that's not snow, that's chloride. Chloride is an electrolyte. It's a chemical essential to human uh, health. And uh, sodium chloride, that's salt. So this stuff over here is probably salt, but chloride's half of that. Well, I was talking to the neighbor, and he says, you ain't seen nothing yet. So we're going to get a tour <laughs> of... Uh, it, it, it wasn't his property. He recently moved there because somebody else bought it and he's living there to take care of stuff, but might be interesting. And this is the property we're talking about. That is not my doing. It's not your <laughs> no, stuff, we, okay? I understand that. Well, I've the seen only it. reason the first room we're going to see is because of me. Oh, okay. You'll get the picture. Later Eric, on. do you paint? Yes. No, I raise pigeons. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me ask you a question, okay? I've been waiting. Do you, do, <laughs> do you have any objection to being on YouTube? You, you, I am in the witness protection program. That's what I was going to ask you. That's what I was going to ask you. <laughs> You're joking, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's see what you got. Or no, excuse well, me. Let's see what what, what you what what, what what you're in charge of, not what it's yours. Well, the people, the previous owners, because when the husband died, mm -hmm. that was the end of their thing, so they moved to Northern Cal. And I guess the place fell apart, what? and so Charlie got put in command of some sort. Mm -hmm. I've already caught three guys walking in. Yeah? One guy with a guitar I couldn't catch because it was too far away. Yeah. So I think that's why I was there in the first place. Let's go for a walk. You ain't going to believe what's coming your way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this sign here, it says jail. That's that thing Jan way down the street, too. right? Jan made that and painted that. Yeah? Cool. Sheriff. Well, we'll keep it up. We should put Eric underneath Sheriff, so no, this is Sheriff Eric. Oh. Okay. Jerry, I want to show you one thing before you go there. Yeah? This building, supposedly, yes. was the old payroll building for the payroll mine. Yeah, it was. And really? And they had it drug up here from Payroll Street. And the uh, sign is wore off, but I'm going to put it back. So this was the... So this was the pay window. They walked yep. up to the window and got paid for working in the mine. Yeah, and What's the name of the mine? Payroll mine. It's the big one up the, there. The payroll mine, which is... And can you believe you can some see guy up on the hill a house on top yeah. of that? Oh, oh, yeah, okay. It's like... Yeah, it, way up on the hill there is part of it. Right up there. It's a big deal. Yeah, it's a huge mine. Oh, you know about 
This you is know. the worst story of this whole freaking town that I can think of. A couple of little girls are on an ATV way up near the top. Yeah. There's a road that runs all yeah. the way. Yeah, goes up to the... They drove into a mine shaft. Oh! No. Their father was with them. Thank God he had one of them things. I was able to get help. But one girl didn't make it, and they oh. got the other one out the next day. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. The town got together... And gave him a shitload of money, but the father moved out. Yeah. It was, he felt it was. So they lived here and they. Yeah, I yeah. know. Oh, that's oh cool. my Drove gosh. straight into a mine shaft 60, 80 feet down. Well, this, wow. there is mines littered all yeah, over yeah. the field. There's way too many for the county or the state or whoever to come along mm -hmm. and fence them off. Well, let's go see what's going on over here, Eric. Well, now, what about that building over there? What's that? That? That red one? Yeah. Used to be the schoolhouse. Oh. Ah. Not that way. You don't want to walk on that side. Okay. That cat and Puff were actually fighting over there the other day, too. Serious? Yeah. Huh. That cat's 11. Wow. Yeah. Puff was just not having <clears throat> Your friend want, took a look in there and he found that lantern thing. Oh, yeah. Cool. So well, that's a big goddamn deal. This is where you need to have those. <laughs> yeah, the American pickers. <laughs> American pickers need to come here. Have you ever known anybody to have seven refrigerators? No. Yes, Charlie had five over there. And like that? Yep, just like that. I had nine couches in one house. I've got that part I can live with. <laughs> I'm still getting rid of refrigerators. Cat food. Yep. Taking good care of that white kitty. Aha, uh -huh, I see. Well, actually, there's another black one, but since he saw you guys, he hit the road. Oh, I saw him take the calico kind of. I'll tell you the same thing. Whatever you do, don't open that refrigerator. Okay, we won't have uh, wait. Okay, Jeffrey Dahmer. First thing he did was open it. Look at that stove. Look at that stove. Yeah, but get a load of this. That was awesome. The guy was an electrician. Yeah. Oh, cool. Oh, so it's an electric. It is. It's it an is electric, electric stove. Well, he converted it. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I never even heard of such a thing. But wow. That's a, that's a cool old stove. It is. That's pretty much like the one that was down there. I never looked in here. Uh, yeah, we're good. We're good. There. And this is a separator. A cream, cream, oh, cream separator. Yeah, it's a creamer. Yeah. Try to lift it. No, no. I'll I, give you a thousand dollars if you can carry it down. I used to have to do one of those before breakfast in the ranch. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know why that board is there? Well, it has to be heavy because when you crank it, you would jerk it around if it wasn't really heavy. That's I still get skunks all the time. We had, we had a skunk over there. It was a, a buddy. I, I went out there. I heard, I heard uh, Puff out there. And I went out to see what he was doing. And before you he see what you're about to see, I want you to know the only reason this room looks like this uh -huh. because I came along. <laughs> oh, it looks better. You're about to see something else. Okay. <laughs> Are we sure? Oh, look. Charlie's been here. He's yeah, got I know. He or Jan. Yeah, if you want them, take them. No, no, no. All of those I've little... Got a, I've got a hundred or two of those. Those little houses. Little, houses. little, little uh, rocks that are painted like houses. Yeah. Is this your heat source? What? Is this your heat? <laughs> no, I got three cats. Oh. <laughs> Is that like three dog night? Only three cat night? Three cat night. I read all these books and did I you? gave a thousand to the library. Did it make you smarter? I God, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> but watch your step. I'm going to show you something first. Okay. I don't walk out here no more. Okay. And the reason is? I went through right there. Oh, oh, yeah. oh my gosh. Oh, and it's a ways down. Yeah. I'm, one leg up, I'm one walking, leg down. I'm, watch, I'm walking gingerly. Uh, I know. Oh, I can see where the problem is. This is all okay, right. watch your step here. Ain't this some kind of door? Though? Yeah, I like the door. The door? It's the jail door. Yeah. They probably stole it. Oh, man. Okay. Don't step in the hole. It's safe after the hole. Okay. You sure? You go first, Jerry. Uh, and I'll follow. Okay. If you make it. Dang. Here I come. Follow him. 
you know yeah. this, is... this reminds me of a guy that used to be one of my tenants he burned down a sixplex oh my gosh just to get rid of the evidence of all his own crap no he left a cigarette burning in a big easy there's chair another, like that one right there there's another one of those heaters okay now i can see people wanting these box things yeah, yeah those would go when they have the yard sale you should just sit them in front yeah but according to gene the roll top desk is cool and that was the only reason that's there it's probably because it's too heavy yeah. Well, they had one in that other house. Okay. I, I was going but to you know what a loom is? Yes. yes. Old women mix? Yes. They built one in there. Oh. I'll let you go ahead. Of me. <laughs> Just in case. Just for the road trip. And I don't mean road trip. Uh, well, we're not going in that room. That's the loom. Yeah. Look at that. That's a, a, a big there. rug loom. Oh, yeah, that's a serious this is one. one of those places where you could spend... You can see it through the window, but yeah. I'm not going over there. Yeah. No. This could be okay, easy. now get a load of this. And what's going on in here? Jesus. Oh, Lord. And there's more. Oh, Lord. Is this a trailer? What the heck? How do I know? Huh? It's connected somehow. And there's another whole room in here that's just... Trailer. Yeah. This is, this is They're bad. both trailers, but I couldn't figure it out either. Uh, I, <laughs> well, that's enough of that. Uh, there were several of those kinds of trailers, and they got progressively worse. Uh, wading through stuff up to your knees at one point with stuff stacked up floor to ceiling. So you just a narrow little aisle to go through. Uh, and, uh, one trailer you couldn't even get into. You opened the door and stuff was falling out. <laughs> oh, yeah, slowly empty it, well, let's see. The cowboy boots are gone. No, not my size. Ooh. Holy moly. Look at this. It is full. It is full. It's this full. Is kind it's of full. Trailer, oh, it was. Yeah. Oh, there you go. What do they call it? A monkey? Sock monkey. Sock monkey. Yeah. I thought that was something else. <laughs> it's a sock monkey. Classic motorhome. No kidding. Dang it. I know a few RVers that would... It's a Chinook. What shape is it in? What shape is it in? Is it like the house? I, did you, you, you actually wanted to ask that question? Wouldn't you be surprised if you oh, turn it on and fire it up or something? Wouldn't you be surprised if you looked in it? And, there was a... and it was empty. Well, that would surprise me. Oh my gosh, this thing is. Uh, it's not empty. Not empty. What is it? Is it... Whoa! Wait. Wait. It's Get out of here! Go quick! Go quick! Wasps! Wasps! Wasps bees! <laughs> Habit. <laughs> uh, there was one uh, thing that struck us very, very funny. Uh, we're wading through stuff like that, and I opened up a closet door, and the closet was totally empty. <laughs> there wasn't a single thing in there. After wading through all of that stuff to open a closet and find absolutely nothing in it, just a bare closet rod. Well, it struck us funny at the time. Anyway, that's enough of that. Thanks for watching me today. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.